everyone, this video is going to cover how you work with Writable and Schoology um, with the API method. So um, there's a separate video that talks about what the API method is versus the LTI. But in a nutshell, the API method lets teachers log in right at app.writable.com and kind of bring in their Schoology rosters, assign out to Schoology, um, all from Writable. So um, to get started with login, um, we will sign in with Schoology at the bottom and you'll select your state. Your school district does, or your school does need to set up with us first. Just to, so if you're not seeing your school or district on this list, it's because you haven't um, set it up with us. So definitely um, reach out to us and get your, your school listed here. Um, you'll select your school or district. And then from here, your teachers would, um, you and your teachers would log in with whatever that school email addresses that they're used to using with Schoology. So that's kind of how you log in. Um, and again, both students um, could do that as well at writable.com or students will have the option of finding all their assignments over on Schoology. All right, the next step is to import your Schoology classes or courses, I should say, right into Writable. So I'm in Writable, I've logged in, I'm in the classes page um, and there's a big import Schoology button here. So when I click that, I am going to get quite a few courses so I can choose which ones I want to bring in. So in this case, I'm going to bring in this one to show you guys and click import. Now, if it's a brand new course, let's say it's the beginning of the year or the beginning of the semester and you know that your IT administrator just created courses like a day ago, this may have to run overnight, but otherwise, if the course has been around for a while and you click this button, it should bring it in pretty quickly. So that's how you import a Schoology course into Writable. All right, so now we're going to take an assignment and push it. Now that we have that roster imported, we're going to push it from Writable to Schoology. So I'm going to go into my My Assignments page, and I have a poetry analysis here. If I click into that. I am gonna see that I could edit it and I could customize it, I could preview it, but I'm gonna go ahead and assign right now. And I'm gonna choose the, the course that we just imported. And as always, I can choose my feedback options in Writable. So I might choose um, on this one to do self-review and originality check, whatever you'd like to do for each assignment. Um, but the most important thing is the magic button is create in Schoology. So this button is gonna actually make this assignment show up for your students in Schoology, or if they're logging into Writable with Schoology, it will make it appear there. I'm gonna click assign, and that's how I send a, a Writable assignment over to Schoology. Okay, now we're in as a student in Schoology. Um, again, with this method, with the API method of using Writable, students can find their assignments in their course in Schoology, or they can log directly into Writable and find those same assignments. So either way that you find that that's easier, a lot of teachers like the students to start from Schoology. So um, I'm gonna have the student click into the poetry analysis here and launch into the Writable assignment. And this assignment, I believe, just has a reading passage and a prompt, a quick prompt, so students can click on the student dashboard their reading and writing goals and kind of see what this assignment's all about as they start working. So it's a poem from Dickinson, not a very nice topic, but it's a Dickinson poem and they can read the prompt and start writing. When they're ready to um, kind of look at their checklist or their rubric items, they can open and see, are they on task for this writing assignment? Do they have to maybe add, maybe some more reasons would be good for support. But when they're ready to get some feedback, they would click submit. And that's all there is to it for the student to access their writable assignments right from Schoology. All right, so now let's take a look at how you would grade in Writable and send your scores to the Schoology gradebook. So here I am, I see 33% of my students have turned in work on my poetry analysis. So I'm gonna go in there and again, that's synced with my Schoology roster. My student dashboard, um, I can go in and grade. This just has one student that's turned it in, so let's go take a look. Um, you know, as always, you can use our, our rubrics and our stored comments to give your students some feedback. You can highlight with our highlighting tools. 
if you want to kind of mark up the text and align that with a piece of your rubric. And um, just when you're ready to hit submit on this score, you would I'm gonna move myself out of the way, you would hit submit. So when I hit submit on this score, um, you can see here that I've given the student a 78%. If I flip over to my Schoology gradebook for this course, um, for API assignments in Writable, they will automatically go into a grading category called Writable. So if you're looking for where they show up, um, you would choose Writable as the grading category, and you see the score here for my poetry analysis. Now, let's say that I don't like the uh, having a category called Writable. No problem. You can always go into that assignment and choose a different grading category. So let's do that. Let's say that I don't want that poetry analysis to show up in Writable. Um, I can go into Edit the Settings, and um, you know maybe it's more appropriate for this to show up in classwork or assessments, whatever you're doing, and hit Save Changes. So that's how you would recategorize a writable assignment. And if I go back to my gradebook now, um, and I'm in January, I believe I was in January, and let's go into classwork. I'll see that the score from Writable has moved over into the right category. So in a nutshell, that's how you grade in Writable and see your gradebook populate in Schoology.